Honourable Members, the Speaker. Almighty God, we humbly beseech thee to vouchsafe thy blessing upon this parliament, direct and prosper our deliberations to the advancement of thy glory and the true welfare of the people of Australia. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Leader of the Opposition. Seek leave to move the following motion. That the Prime Minister be invited to attend in the House forthwith to explain to the House discrepancies that have come to light in relation to statements that he and the Treasurer made during question time yesterday that the financial modelling to substantiate their claim that Labor's $315 billion debt will be paid off in full by 2022 are contained in the budget papers, to explain subsequent reporting in the media of comments attributed to the Treasurer's office, which now dispute their statements during question time, to explain to the House why the Australian people should have any confidence in a government that expects them to believe that government debt will be repaid by 2022 without any evidence or foundation for such a claim, to inform the House whether he has confidence in the Treasurer, who has lost control of the nation's finances and will not come clean with the Australian people as to the true state of the government's parlous financial state. Is leave granted? Leave is not granted. Speaker, I move that so order, much of standing. The leader of the order, the leader of the opposition. Mr. Speaker, I move that so much of standing and sessional orders be suspended, as would enable the leader of the opposition to move the following motion forthwith: that the prime minister be invited to attend in the house forthwith to explain to the house discrepancies that have come to light in relation to statements that he and the treasurer made during question time yesterday, that the financial modelling to substantiate their claim that Labor's $315 billion debt will be paid off in full by 2022 are contained in the budget papers, to explain subsequent reporting in the media of comments attributed to the Treasurer's office, which now dispute their statements during question time, to explain to the House why the Australian people should have any confidence in a government that expects them to believe that government debt will be repaid by 2022 without any evidence or foundation for such a claim, yep. to inform the House whether he has confidence in the Treasurer, who has lost control of the nation's finances and will not come clean with the Australian people as to the true state of the government's parlous financial state. Mr Speaker, Order. what the we have seen— the member for Perth. I move the speaker be no longer heard. Order. The question is that the member be no longer heard. All those of that opinion say aye. Contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. Division required. Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes.
Order. Lock the doors. The question is that the member be no longer heard. The ayes are passed the right of the chair, the nose to the left. Point the honourable members for Shortland and Werriwa tellers for the eyes, and the members for Riverina and Ryan tellers for the nose.
Order. The result of the division is ayes 73, no 62. The question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. Is the motion seconded? The member for North Sydney. The member for North Sydney will resume his seat. The member for Perth. The member for the member for North Sydney will resume his seat. The member for Perth. Member for Perth has moved that the member be no longer heard. All those of that opinion say aye. Country no. I think the ayes have it. Division required. Division required. Ring the bells for one minute. One minute. My point is saying, fellas, as for the previous members should remain in their seats unless they are leaving the chamber or they did not vote in the previous division or they are changing the vote, in which case they should report to the tellers. Lock the doors. The question is that the member be no longer heard. Members should have remained in their seats unless they had changed their votes. They did not vote in the previous division, in which case they should have reported to the tellers. Order. The result of the division is I 74, no 62. The question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. The question is that the motion moved by the Leader of the Opposition suspending standing and sessional orders be agreed to. All those of that opinion say aye. The contrary, no. I think the noes have it. 
division required? Division required. Ring the bells for one minute. One minute. The question is that the motion for the suspension of standing and sessional orders be agreed to. The ayes are passed to the right of the chair, the noes to the left. I appoint the honourable members for Ryan and Riverina tell us for the ayes, and the members for Werriwa and Shortland tell us for the noes. Order. The result of the division is I 61, no 75. The question is therefore negative. Would members please resume their seats quickly and quietly, and if they are leaving the chamber, do so quickly and quietly.
the clock.